Alright, so let's talk about how naman ikaw gagawa ng user or mag-manage ng user. This is very important. Lalo na kung madami ka ng staff or you have you know, a team, maybe a department. No? Kung madami na talaga. For example, meron ka ng warehouse department. Ito yung uh, talaga meron kang place. May warehouse ka. Any warehouse, pwede niyang i-manage. Okay? You can see those details kapag kinlik mo yung edit. So you can assign time here. If you want to manage the department, maybe your department has different times. Pwede mo siyang i-assign like anong oras, okay? Um, in military time to. So, for example, 9 o'clock to what? To anong oras? Hanggang plus cheese. So, it depends on your uh, system. It depends pa paano kayo mag-operate. A warehouse staff. This is for example na, ng uh, department. And then you can also put staff right here agad. And ano yung mga dapat niyang gawin. For example, ang warehouse, almost everything, meron siyang permission. But you can also put yung order status. So, let's say sa warehouse, hindi naman siya yung sales, hindi naman siya nagko-close, but kaya niya lang i-manage lahat ng products. Okay? So, siya yung warehouse staff. Let's look at how the admin naman. So, sa admin, halos lahat naman, but maliban sa report. Okay, so admin, like, siya yung nag-ooperate ng lahat. Product, sales, users. So, para siyang system administrator sa isang company. Okay, so you can put um, many order status or pwede niya makancel. It depends on you. So, ito yung by default. Pati sa sales, no? you can see, uh, you can have a... Um, insights here na ano ba yung ginagawa ng sales but ang kagandahan you can also create your own department okay so kung gagawa ka ng uh, ang sarili mong department lagay mo yung name like for example ito accounting okay you can put an accounting team lagay, uh, pwede mong lagay ng oras or hindi so hindi natin so let's just refresh this um, to make sure na hindi naka select in default okay so lagyan natin accounting and then uh, sa accounting pwede mo ilagay ngayon yung like view report manage cash flow um yan mga yan view all report employee capital profit diba so mostly ganyan yung ginagawa ng accounting manage printing form and yan or status no not not needed so meron ka ng accounting department so pwede kayong maglagay dito ng um, customer service team customer service okay so ang gagawin ng customer service ay kaya hay niyang kaya niya ngayon mag um mag mark ng delivered return cancel delete okay yan mga yan okay printed waiting maliban lang sa mag-process ng order okay so tanga natin delivered yan so yun yung ginagawa ngayon ng um uh, customer service natin then the order status can be canceled um so hindi hindi na kailangan kailangan niya kasi ng info lang so, ang kailangan niya gawin dito is manage the customers, uh, exp um, order assignment, pwede yan. Okay, pwede rin tong ka can push orders to shipping units. Um, manage orders, yes, pwede rin. Alright, so yan lang ginagawa niya, customer service. Kasi ang gagawin lang niya is ibabato lang niya naman yan sa mga department. So, depende kung ano magiging setup, but uh, I would like you to explore on this more. Kasi iba't iba yung setup ng company, ng team mo. If you're starting out, maybe you just have to start with the sales and, and admin staff. Okay? So, how do you want to add users naman? There are three ways to add your users, but mostly dalawa lang yung pwede natin gawin their email or Facebook because yung phone number kasi wala pang Philippines dito it happens na wala pa naman siya and I think it will be supported soon but for now you just have to use the email pag nalagay mo email dito ng employee or ng user na gusto mong ma 
maka-join sa team. Lagi mo email niya at makaka-receive siya ng email so he or she can join. Also sa so Facebook ID, meron ditong uh, instruction but basically kailangan connect ka sa Pancake. So if meron siyang account sa Pancake, ang kailangan niya lang gawin, pumunta sa kanyang account. And then ito yung ID niya, Facebook ID. Okay? So, yun ang lalagay mo Facebook ID. Meron naman instructions dito paano makukunin yan. And then, kapag nalagay mo na, click OK at notify siya. And then, he will he or she will um, be included here. Okay? So, pwede kang uh, mag-set dito naman system uh, permission ng specific na user or mag-assign ka ng time. For it. Make sure lang, be careful sa paggamit uh, nito. For example, account mo and then you selected something here uh, and then hindi mo na iselect kung admin ka or mag-manage nito, eh, pwede kang mawala o pwedeng uh, ma-disconnect ka sa POS and then you have to remake everything. You have to uh, uh, remove pancake sa yung business integration dito sa business integration business uh, sa settings yan no settings ng page ng personal profile mo and then business integration and then you have to select pancake and then remove the pancake and then redo everything from step 1 kasi kapag yung permission niya nakadikit kasi yan dun sa account mo so hindi mo na siya ma-manage kapag uh, na select mo yan so make sure lang na be careful ka sa pag-handle niyan so that's about it. You can also delete here or uh, views, view your information niya dito. And then you can add more users dito.